I can't I remember? It's me, Mother. Carolyn. Carolyn? That's right. I'll, I'll be downstairs if you need me. How are you feeling? Oh, it's, it, it's so cold in here. Why can't I go to my own room? This is your room. Yes, of course. Why can't I concentrate? What you should try to do is rest. What? What's happening to me? You, you're sick. No. But you're going to get No, better. I'm not sick. You're going to get better. I'm not sick. Something's happening to me. Something terrible is happening please, to me. Please, try to lie quietly. I can't lie quietly. I've got to find out what's happening to you're me. You're going to be all right. Nothing is going to happen to you. Yes. yes, it is. No. Something terrible. No, it won't. I won't let it. Now, please. Please try to rest. Oh. Rest. Yes. Yes. That's what I need. Rest. I'm so terribly, terribly tired. Can I get you anything? I don't know. Why don't you try to sleep? And I'll just sit here. Carolyn. It is you. Yes, Mother, it's me. I'm right here with you. I was walking up the stairs. When you got sick? No, no. Not sick. I was walking up the stairs. No, it was before. It happened before. What happened? I was walking up the stairs before it, it happened. I was walking up the stairs. Don't, don't try to remember. Please, try to rest. Please. Carolyn, you're crying. No. No, I'm not. Why are you crying? My baby's crying. Why is my baby crying? What happened to my baby? Nothing. Nothing's happened to me. I'm all right, see? I'm here with you. And I'm all right. You know what I what I always told you about tears? Remember that? No, I don't remember. Tears are only good for watering cabbages. Remember? I remember. Oh, Mother, I love you so much. Then help me. Please help me. What is it? Don't let it happen to me. Don't, don't let it happen. I told you, I promised you, nothing is going to happen yes, to you. Yes, it is. Oh, please, take my hand. Hold I'm me. I'm here, I'm here, Quick. Mother. Quick, hold my hand. Please, why don't you help me? Why don't you? Why don't you? Why doesn't somebody help me? Please, please, save me. Somebody save me. Roger's with him now. She seems so frightened. She keeps saying that... that something terrible is about to happen to her. What could it be? I wish I knew. I wish that doctor knew. 
Vicky. I know that Mother swore never to leave Collinwood. But should she be in the hospital? He didn't think it was necessary right now. I... I don't know. He's, he's coming back tomorrow to make some more tests on her. Oh, Vicky, I'm so scared. Carolyn, we've got to believe that she's going to be all right. But what if... What if... She's going to be all right. Yes, I believe that. I do. I believe that she's... not going to lose her. She's all I have, really. She's all I've ever had. I don't want to be alone. I can't lose her. I can't be all alone. You're not going to lose her. Now, come on. I, I think it would be a good idea if you went up to bed. No, I, I don't want to sleep. I couldn't, anyway. You should try. Can I just sit here? I don't think that would be a good idea. reminded me. There is something I want. What is it? Oh, Vicky, why do I feel this way? What way? What are you talking about? My mother's upstairs, and something terrible is happening to her. And I'm so alone and so frightened. And there's only one thing I want, and I hate myself for wanting it. What is it? I want Burke. I want him to take me in his arms. I want him to hold me and never let me go. I was walking up the stairs for that storm, lightning. I was walking through the storm. Yes, walking. Where? The cottage. That's right. Inside. Laura. Inside the cottage. Laura. Laura, go. Not David. Laura must go. Threaten. Don't threaten me. Inside the cottage. I remember now. Vicky, Roger, come quickly. I remember. Inside Laura's cottage. That's where it was. Inside Laura's cottage. Roger. Vicky? Is that you, Carolyn? Who's there? Who is it? Answer me! Who's there? Who is it? Answer me! against the sky, fire, the waves against the rocks, the stones, the bird, fire, fire, fire. Bye. 
fire. Bird. Stone. Stone. And the words Mrs. Stoddard kept saying. Fire. The bird. The... Yes, the stone. That's it, isn't it? The stone in the graveyard. In the crypt. That's where I'll find the answers, isn't it? The sense fading. Josette, please stay with me. Please help me. Please don't leave me. All right. I'll go. What's happened? I'll, I'll get my coat. Where are we going? What's this all about? I'll explain it later. I'm Peggy, away. Where? You, you call me at 5 o'clock in the morning. You say you'll explain when I get here. Now I'm here. You say you explain on the way. And when I ask you I where... I don't want to waste time. What's going on down there? Roger. How's Mrs. Stoddard? Is she better? She's still sleeping, thank goodness. Carolyn's with her. Donna, what are you doing here at this hour? I wish I knew. Is something wrong with Mrs. Stoddard? Hasn't Vicky told you? Not yet. What happened? Well. I'll explain it to you later. Where are you two going? I'm sorry, Roger, but after this night, it was so difficult, and, and I just saw that I couldn't get any sleep. Well, that's certain enough. So I asked Frank to take me for a drive. Oh, but a drive? But to where? Nowhere in particular. Just out of the house to, to relax. I won't be gone long, I promise. Look, what I want to know is what happened to Mrs. Stoddard. It's another one of those terrible, unexplainable things. She it happened fainted. last night. She fainted right there at the foot of the stairs. And she is sick. Well, that's what we thought. But then she seemed to recover almost immediately. But when she came round, she couldn't remember anything that happened to her just prior to her fainting. And when she seemed to try to recall it, she got terribly weak all of a sudden. The doctor examined her and he couldn't find anything wrong with her. Except for the weakness and the lapses of memory. He ruled out the obvious. It wasn't a stroke. Then he made some more tests and left, saying that all she needed was rest. Then she's resting now. Wait, that isn't all that happened. You realize, Garner, I'll expect you to maintain a professional silence about this. Mrs. Stoddard is ill. That's all anyone in Collinsport has to know. Of course. In the middle of the night, we heard her cry out. I should never have left her room. We heard her say, I remember. Now I know. Know what? Presumably she knew what happened to her. We rushed into the room and... Yes? She had 
fallen at, at the foot of the bed. She wasn't unconscious, but she kept repeating the same words over and over and over again. None of it made any sense. It was awful to, to see her lying there. Roger, perhaps I shouldn't go, at, at least not for a little while. No, I'll be all right. I think it would be better if you did go out for a while. Is there anything I can do? Yes, I think you should take Vicky out for that drive. Change will do her good. Are you sure you're going to be all right? Yes, of course. Now you run along. Maybe it would be good for you to get out, Vicky. Today's going to be a difficult day for me, and I'm going to need your help. You'll be better able to give it after you've gotten some fresh air. Roger's right. Come on. All right. But I won't be gone for long. It's a good girl. Run along. Now, where are we going at this hour of the morning? And don't tell me just out for a drive or you want to relax. No, it's not going to be very relaxing. I want you to take me back to the cemetery. Back to the crypt. He's not here. He's got to be. He'd answer if he was. We can't have come all this way for nothing. Please keep knocking. Hey, you in there, open up! Hey! It's maybe I dreamt it. Dreamt what? That Josette is trying to help me. But you said you smelled the jasmine. I don't know. I dozed off. And I kept hearing those words that Mrs. Stoddard said. Bird? Stone fire. And I woke up on the word stone. And I thought of this place. And the gravestones. And that's when I smelled the jasmine. Or I thought I did. We've come back to see you just like we said we would. We've come back. Can't you hear me? I hear you. Good morning. We've come back like we said we would. Yes, the stones are down in the storm. The gravestones, some of the graves are no longer marked. I have to check my records. Would you please help us? Come inside. Out of the cold wind. Thank you. Knocked over all the stones. I have to look in my books to find out where they go. Don't you think it was just the storm itself that knocked them down? Oh, I saw them in the lightning. There was no peace. No peace in the night at all. Would you... I know that you're very busy, but would you please do us a favor? Yes? These books. They're the records of all the people that are buried here in the cemetery, aren't they? This cemetery and the one seven miles to the north. The one they dug up when the town got too big to hold the living and the dead. The living, they stayed. The dead, they gave to me. Their names are here. Well, then you must have fairly complete burial records of this whole area. They're all here. The dead who were once the living... Do you remember 